If you're learning a language, you're constantly coming across new words and forgetting them right after, which is too bad because your language would have been so much better if you could hold on to those words and remember them. Now, you could write them down, or if you're learning with our system, you can just save them to your extended brain, the word bank, with just one click. And in this video, you'll discover one, all about the word bank, two, how to save keywords and phrases, and three, easy ways to review the words so that you never forget them. But first, if you don't yet have access to our language learning system, sign up for a free lifetime account right now. Just click the link in the description to get your free lifetime account. So let's jump in. I'll guide you through our learning system so you get to see exactly what's inside and our members only study tools. Okay, so let's get into it. What is the Word Bank? The Word Bank is a premium study tool that you can use so that you have a really, really easy way to collect all of the new words and phrases and sentences that you pick up in your studies. So you can think of it kind of like an extension to your brain. So you can use this to help make sure that you review the words and expressions that you actually need to review. You can keep words that are interesting to you here, whatever it is you want to do with it. It's a very flexible tool. So first, let's take a look at where we find this tool, and then we're going to talk a little bit about how we can use it and some different kinds of study resources that you can get from this one thing. So first, where do we find the word bank? If you click on the vocabulary menu or just hover over vocabulary menu and then click on word bank, you can find the word bank page. Also, if you are using the app, you can find the link for this in the dashboard too. So this will give you the word bank page. So on the word bank page, you have a few bits of information about each of the things that are there. You've got some audio icons that you can press. You've got the word, the part of speech, uh, the definition, the meaning of the word. Depending on the language, you will also have the translation. And you will also have at the end of the row this thing that says three lessons or six lessons or five lessons or whatever. So if you click on this, you will see all of the lessons that are related to that word, which is really, really helpful if you want to see like other ways that that word is used or if you want some more example sentences and so on. So that's a really, really handy little tool. So let's talk about how words get into the word bank. There are two ways I want to talk about. First is for those of you who make a point to like study every day or a few times a week or whatever it is. If you take the lessons from your dashboard, like let's say we'll take this lesson here. If you take your lesson like every day or every week or something like that, you'll maybe have noticed that there is a vocabulary section in your lesson. So if you go to the vocabulary section and you pick a few things that you know you want to practice, like let's say you have a couple of expressions that you need to work on your pronunciation, or maybe they're just difficult for you to remember, or you thought they were interesting, whatever, whatever the reason is, you can select those words with this checkbox that's on the left of that section right there, the vocabulary section, and click Add to Word Bank. So once you do this, you'll get a message that says the words were added successfully, and the words are now in your Word Bank. Great. That is one way that you can add words to your Word Bank. The other way I want to talk about today, let's say you are using one of the vocabulary lists on our website for your studies. So if you go to the vocabulary drop-down menu, and we'll just choose like the 100 most common word lists for today, but you can do the same thing with any of the vocabulary lists on our website, you can find the same checkbox that's on the left of all of the vocabulary words here. So you can choose a few words uh, and add them to your word bank. So let's say that I want to add, you know, this word, laugh and make in this case. And so once you have these chosen, you can, from the top of the page or from this section that comes down if you're on the computer version, you can add all words to the word bank. If I click this, it says add all words. I can choose the word bank, which will add all of the words in the list or I can click on add selected words. So that's just the words I have selected and add those to my word bank. So I'll do that now and I'll get a message that says they are there now. Great, okay. So these are the two really, really easy ways that you can add things to your word bank. Let's go back to the word bank now and talk about some of the different features and kind of functionality here. So of course, if you just want to have like a quick glance at the words that you've added to your word bank, you can do that really easily here. If you want to do, you know, practice with the audio files. If you want to practice your pronunciation at different speeds, great, you can do all of that here. You can just read through the list if you want to do that, fine. But I wanna talk about some other things that you can do from this page. So the first thing I wanna talk about is making a flashcard deck from your word bank. So if you click, if I just don't have anything words, no words selected here now, if I want to 
click this right now, sync to flashcards, nothing will happen. So in order to create a flashcard deck from my word bank, I need to select words. So if you've run into this problem, make sure you have select, like selected words from your word bank. So you can select all of them with this checkbox up here at the top, or you can just select a few words like this and choose the ones that you want to study at that moment, and then click sync to flashcards. It will think for a minute and then it will take you to your flashcard page. And then once this loads up, you'll see a My Word Bank flashcard deck. So this will have all of the flashcards that you have asked it to sync to this deck. So if you want to make flashcards in this way from your Word Bank, this is a super, super easy way to do it to make sure you're studying only the words that are like specific to you that you want to know right now. So this is one way that you can use your Word Bank and the study tools inside it. Okay, so let's go back to the word bank now. And I wanna talk about this section right here. This section says labels. So we don't have any in this case, but what you can do with the words in your word bank is assign them different labels. So if you wanna have a label that says like, verbs or adjectives or something like that. Or if you have like a specific hobby or a specific category of word, you can label those words so that you always are able to easily see which words belong to that group. So for example, if you want to study only the verbs in your word bank, you can choose only the verbs from your list and like sync them to a flashcard deck if you want to. So if you want to be like really super organized about your words in that way, you have that functionality from this page as well. Okay, the next thing I want to talk about is for those of you who like to have something physical to use with your studies, like a worksheet kind of thing where you can actually write or maybe use a highlighter or use different colors, that kind of thing, you can also make a physical printout of this information with this button right here. If you go to the printer friendly version and click this, you will get this kind of output. So it's a really, really, really super simple just list of all of the words and the information about those words that you can print out. And again, you can change this. You can put another one together next week and make a totally different word bank printout if you want to as well. So this is something that you can use to easily just get a printable version of your word bank. Then the last thing that I wanna talk about is this export word bank button. If you want to get this word bank, but in a different format, you can do that from this section. So if if you click on export word bank, you can choose to export it from PDF version. You can do it uh, as a CSV, you can do it as XML. And if you have labels on your words, you can also choose to select those here as well. So there are a few different things that you can do with the word bank. So as you can see, hopefully you can see that there are a lot of different things that you can do with just this one tool. And hopefully all of them are just, you know, different ways that you can study those words and remember them for longer. And they're also really, really easy to integrate into your existing lesson flow. So if you're not using the word bank to help you remember interesting words or difficult words, or just things that you want to practice a little bit more, now you have some great ideas and you can get started right away. So if you're tired of forgetting all the new words you come across, take advantage of the word bank. It's your extended brain where you can save all the words you come across and review them with a quick glance. So if you want to learn the language and get access to these learning tools and our learning system, sign up for a free lifetime account right now. Just click the link in the description to get your free lifetime account.